I think what, what Trump means by making America great again, he means the American dream. How people realize the American dream. Yeah. Is that when people when when people are stewarding property, it devolves, it takes the power away from the state. And the state's all fascism's all about pumping up the state, right? And the, the but when people are doing property therapy and getting property in the lives, it takes away the power of the state. And Trump is so much about the uh, realizing the American dream for the private individual, and especially for the black community with the enterprise zone in the, in the city, the the, uh, the target zones that he's funneling all these uh, capital and investment opportunities, and also he's helping w remove he helped uh, revamp the whole prison system, didn't he? Mm -hmm. And so this is how, and that's been part of the challenges that the black community has faced is the the tear up of the black family, like. Seven, you know, seven, what is it, 60, 70 percent of black males is it? Yeah, it's now pulled out. Seven, like 70 percent of the, the kids are now with uh, single parent homes in the black community. And the uh, most, the majority of the black men are in jail. And it's, it's largely related to the, the drug charges. And so, so Trump has, has uh, revamped that whole, whole system. Yeah, and I've seen where he's, you know, been pardoning some of the people who've been in jail for you know, a long period of time for some minor offense or something that wasn't quite as bad on today's standards. So he's you know, really helping them out. This property that uh, has been burned down and, and uh, needs some property therapy, and uh, they ought to have um, the, the prisoners being released, um, help channel them, help, help them hook up with some of this uh, destroyed property and whatnot to help them rebuild it and then uh, take the, some ownership of the property there and start doing property therapy. and. and uh, really turn the page and I, I, I know that uh, we're gonna have a, a really bright future so yeah, give those job skills and, and, and learning how to do that kind of work you, you learn to respect the property and then you're not gonna be out there burning it down that's right so FTS follow the spirit in your life Come, call call me to order your FTS ring um, they're they're they come in different sizes and that it says FTS it stands for follow the spirit and how do you know what to choose the right unless you FTS, because what might, might seem right, you know, when you're around people and whatnot, might not necessarily be right. And maybe somebody, you know, maybe nobody's right. Maybe only God's right. Like with uh, Abraham Lincoln said, famously said, he said, sometimes I would, I would seek the advice of and counsel of everyone around me. And then uh, I, somehow I couldn't confirm that uh, anybody was right. And in the beginning of the Civil War, neither side was right. Because they were about the, the North and the Unis and, and even Lincoln, they were about preserving the Union. And that, like, preserving the Union based on what? Injustice. That was bad. So no, nobody was right initially. And then the, the, uh, the North started getting, deepening themselves and, and suffering and understanding. Look at the, the suffering you're having right now. And look at the suffering you've been causing the slaves. What about that? And so it's like the, the uh, redemption of the land by the blood and suffering. And so that's what that's an FTS is be able to get the consult the great referee, and that's often what's going on with the the um, when we have uh, violence and attacking and whatnot. It's thinking that only you can be right, no one else could be right. You know, everyone else is canceled. It's only me that could be right, right? You got to be open to the opinions of others, and you know, just go with what works. And you know, it's supposed to be a democracy. You got to eat everybody's voice. And a lot of these, the, 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 the protesters or whatnot, they're, they're burning and destroying and saying, we're doing all, all our white, young white kids, graduate, college graduates that are, that are burning these things down. It's like, who elected you to be my representative, right? Yeah, they, they need to take a lesson on how to work the voting booth. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna stand up for uh, Black Lives Matter by destroying all these buildings and destroying your community so that you have no place to get your milk every day. How the heck does that, but they don't matter, they, they don't live in that community, they don't care. That's, they're just saying because that's the, the echo chamber that they came from, they were just filled, like funneled that into their head when, without critical thought. Much of the state of the, the, the public, public school system is, is training as an echo chamber, it's not really cri critical thought or understanding uh, or debating ideas or debating viewpoints. The diversity that they talk, yeah, it, is a... Uh, is, uh, as ephemeral but not truly viewpoint diversity and we got to have that for a true education so it's great having you 
here today, John, when discussing the property story. So now we're going to have uh, 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 HVAC Tony, so you stay here. And then the uh, HVAC Tony, we're going to talk here. So HVAC Tony is a uh, uh, pulpit chair. We're, okay, so we're at the Heritage Center, and uh, HVAC Tony is a, a, a contractor and also uh, is an evangelist at a church that I met. And he was, uh, I was attracted to this church because it had a property therapy um, ministry aspect. They had uh, crops growing in the church or outside, in the, and, and so that was the word made flesh. Yes. They're flying lat to feed, feed the, yeah. the over, people. Over at Beaumont Baptist, they have a huge uh, community garden over there. They have uh, um, a, a farmer's market as well that they're incorporated with. And so they have uh, property therapy. They're working it and uh, um, making it, make, giving back to the community. Wonderful. So that's part of the pro we uh, the positive property issues is how you can enterprise and, and uh, realize your dreams with it. So but tell us about your garden. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I have this little garden. It's a, it's just a little tiny, I call it my secret garden. And so I had um, a nice uh, little bit of corn. So corn started growing. I had ears of corn on the corn. And I have a whole bunch of tomatoes that are growing and uh, a whole bunch of peppers and yellow squash. and. Uh, the other night when that torrential downpour came through, um, apparently the, the raccoons ate every last bit of my corn. So uh, I, I, I experienced uh, property theft. <laughs> so that's one of the issues that we talk about, negative property issues. On the issues number lines, theft yeah. is the most, it's the second most severe property negative issue we have. The mob violence yeah. and then theft, then acts of God. And uh, so, okay, so you have uh, what? Have you got planned for your future relating to property? So um, my property over here, I have uh, my plans pertaining to uh, future property have to do with a hot dog cart that I'm looking to purchase. Uh, I have a trailer hitch I'm getting ready to get put on this afternoon. Uh, and we cut and, the bolts off here, didn't we? Yeah, we cut the bolts off yesterday. At the Heritage Center. And, and so uh, we're getting, we're, everything's uh, channeling towards uh, some more property and using that property to uh, minister to uh, the community uh, with food and, and, and uh, minister the good news to everybody. Right on, property therapy. So how? So you also have the, the, the importance of not only feeding the, the physical bodies, but feeding the soul. Yes. And how that's going to work. So I have I have um, a, a need for a, a public announcement system that I'm trying to have a, a, a PA system that's rechargeable and portable so I can go into the to the highways the byways to the bushes and and uh, go and, and preach the good news uh, that uh, Jesus saves and so that to, to let people know that they too can come out of their circumstances just as I have and just have millions of people uh, have come out of their circumstances based upon uh, just uh, by incorporating Christ into their life so that helps what the, the spiritual aspects helps people develop merit in their life Although it's under state socialism, it just develops entitlement like that. But when you have the gospel in the mix, coupled with the assistance, like the physical assistance, that is what we got. You got to have both barrels blazing at the time. That's right. You have the spiritual in the temple. Otherwise, you just have an entitlement state. That's right. And with an entitlement state, you have, like you talked about last week, uh, people walk around with, with headphones and, and all these different things that, uh, you know, like, entitlement is uh, being all these people going around and say, demanding all these things yet they have a check they have headphones they have all these d d demands and, and so yeah um, so and so when you're under, under the entitlement state you don't even know what boundaries are so your yeah, boundaries are, boundaries are so important um, I was talking to you earlier about um, you know some people put a fence outside their yard you know to protect their, their property and, and they keep the would-be thieves or, or bad people out and so inside that fence would be, you know, your loved ones, your, your pets, your, your family, those that you want to protect within your property. And so you have your innermost circle, and that innermost circle you should have God, you and God. And then beyond that would be your, your wife or your spouse and your children, and then beyond that and beyond that and beyond that. And then you have an occasion where you have people that need to be way out there. And then what we call the Charlie Sheen zone, <laughs> the way out in Charlie Sheen, Sheen, Sheen zone, where um, you love them from a distance, and, and you, you don't stop loving them. But when you let those uh, harmful type characters in your in, within your boundaries, within your front gates, or even in your front door, they're gonna they're gonna rape and pillage and take and, and do everything they can. They're they're takers, and they're like, look, 
I don't want you to take from me anymore. I'm going to love you at a distance. Well, like in the in the Bible, the, the King Hezekiah, the, the prophet told him, don't show anybody what's inside the temple. Yeah. And then he came and showed, showed the, the him. visiting showed everything. King everything in the yeah. temple. And the, and the, the prophet said, oh, no. That's right. He <laughs> sure, sure did. I told, told him not to do that. So, um, so you're taking care of property, inclu including uh, cleaning the A coil. So we cleaned out some A coil racism, didn't we? Yeah, we, we, were, we were cleaning the coils the other day, and then you came up with the analogy of the, 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 the all the muck and the filth coming off of it uh, being racism. And so while we were sitting here talking, um, I was texting, and, and uh, something came to mind that uh, you have your outdoor unit also. So with your indoor unit, you have you, you have the ability to control. Uh, the filth or racism that goes into your indoor coil because you're in control of what you allow. And then your outdoor coil is outside, you don't have any filters around it. It's just subjected to everything outdoors. So then you have that. But it's also important to clean your outdoor coil as well from the things that, that come, so the subjected uh, perspective of things. So, okay, so, all right, so let's put Tony to the test to see if he can talk, to, if he can walk along. We're going to go. divided into the Word, which we've just been talking about. The Word is the lecture in the laboratory, the lecture side where we have our uh, classes where Tony teaches the, uh, uh, the free on licensure class for property owners. And now we've gone into the hands-on mode. And what we were talking about cleaning the A-coil of racism is, uh, is while he's doing it, he's going to fire up the torch here. So he's going to test the... Uh, to see if this A coil is good, if it leaks. It was pulled out of a system that leaks, and we want to know if the A coil is still good for reuse later on. Don't let your waste become waste. Exactly. So we don't want to let our waste become waste from my from my poem, uh, Study the Evergreen Tree. Um, and so he's, so what will the, the cleaning out the racism from the A coil, racism is what prevents the system from working and from like the heat transfer. And uh, he's just lit up the torch right now. And he's what he's doing is he's, He's uh, uh, lighting up, and we're going. We're podcasting this. We're going to put this on our YouTube channel, so you can watch what we're visually talking about right now. So, okay, so, he's, so, so, yeah. So he's lighting, lighting up. Go ahead, go for it. So what we so, have, we, we, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to solder, seal floss the uh, this the liquid line, and we're going to attach a uh, an orifice so that we can um, hook up the uh, gauges and pressurize the A coil uh, and get. Um, get a test on it and find out if it's holding, if there's a leak somewhere by uh, using nitrogen. And so right now we're sweating, sweating the copper with uh, seal floss and, and sealing it off um, with the uh, uh, seal floss here. So now seal floss for the radio audience is a form of uh, welding for uh, copper and it brings together. So what he's, he's, he's basically welding on a, a nipple that can charge the that we can pressurize the aqueal to see if there's a leak to see if it holds a charge and whatnot. So he's he's welding on the uh, the nipple right now. And but back to what we're 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 talking about is cleaning out the aces or the racism from the aqueal system. The the aqueal is uh it's a hat that the that the uh, furnace wears and it's it's like the roof of a house and it's formed in an A. And it's on top of a of, of the furnace and it has. Oh, 60, 70, who knows how many feet of, of, a, of, oh, yeah. of coil just wrapped inside of it going back and forth that the Freon runs through and that takes the and heat out cools of the, the building. House. It also cools the house. when they, or the they, building or the property. Yeah, the, the heat, the, the Freon gets uh, heated up and it, and, it, and it takes it out of the house and gets blown, blown away. But if that, that, those uh, coils are all all uh, uh, corroded up with uh, uh, a coil racism, then uh, it won't transfer. The heat right. won't transfer. It won't, so a, it won't function properly. It will not it, function. It'll, it'll flaw the whole system. Right. So we we uh, we uh, use the uh, so uh, so. Okay. So he's got so the, got it uh, sealed off. He's got it we're all sealed it, off. We're gonna let it cool down. Then we're gonna put in a, a Schrader valve and attach the. Uh, uh, nitrogen tank and, and blast it with high pressure nitrogen and if there's a leak in the coil itself it will whistle or, or come out you'll, you'll be able to detect it and so uh, that's one way of checking the, the coil and it could uh, theoretically be reused it doesn't have to be trashed out it can, you can reuse a coil on an, another unit that uh, has a bad a, a coil in it. So we, we are in the contractor Olympics mode at the American Heritage Center we're going to go nat nationwide with the uh, American Heritage Center Radio. We are the soul syndicated. of America. We are going to syndicate this show. Syndicated. This yeah, show. this is uh, Rush Limbaugh started his his uh, radio career on this station, <laughs> and we're going to 
follow the path of, yeah. uh, or the, the, the rest of them are going to go nationwide. So, all right, so we, we are in the contract Olympics. We're letting the pipes go yeah. down, and, and we're, we're yeah. here with property therapist HVAC Tony. Yeah, and, if anybody uh, wants to contribute to, to, to donate to uh, uh, for the, P, the PA system, the public announcement system, uh, they can contact 816-572-7240. Again, that number is 816-572-7240. There's a much need for a PA system to a uh, portable PA system, go out to the highways, byways, uh, to the bushes and the trees, and, and uh, preach the good news, the good news that there's victory in Jesus. Third time's the charm. 816-572-7240. Okay, so he has, all right, so he's he's done that. So it's still, so, so get a wet cloth and uh, yeah, speed up the uh, the cool down of that. Right, see. And uh, there's this a go of the water glass. Or, hey, you can just spray some of this. Spray some of it. Put it on here. Spray some of it. Okay, so he's, we're going to cool it down. So, and then he's going to put the, put the uh, Schrader valve in there. All right. Let's see how hard it is here. All right, here we go. We're going to try it. Okay, so he's speeding down the, this re, the, uh, the process so that it gets really, really hot. Yeah. Okay, so now he's put a so wet if we, if we were to put the Schrader valve in there while it was good and hot, it would destroy the Schrader valve and it would, uh, uh, it would, it would leak at the Schrader valve. You realize the money you can save if you could test the A coils on your property if they're good A coils. Right. It's 90% of the time is when the system has a leak, it's got a bad A coil because of the, the, uh, the metal in it uh, corrodes because of the different right. metal. Uh, changes in the middle and if you can save your a coils then uh you can save three 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 four hundred dollars that's what the, they they cost nowadays okay we got and, the schrader uh, valve so he's in. got the schrader valve and okay. the schrader valve is that thing that goes inside like your tire when you're pumping up a tire that's called a, that's a schrader valve so, we got so now he's got the nitrogen canister here and he's tying up the schrader the uh, nitrogen to the uh, a coil and now he's going to pressurize it and we're going to see he's going to now turn turn the nitrogen and see if the th if the a coil will hold that leak is uh coming out of the tank itself so the a coil appears to be holding so far uh my my seals that i put on here that i just sweat on there are holding there's no leak and so we're going to close the tank off close and, the tank and off watch what we're going we're to pop this off all right and and then we could we could actually put gauges on it and, and watch and see if it bleeds off. But right now, just for, for uh, demonstration purposes, uh, you can hear that there's, it's still holding air. Yeah, that's nitrogen inside, and so we're pressurizing. And that's the coming out of the Schrader right, valve. Right, right. So it's coming out of the Schrader valve. So it's past the preliminary test. Correct. That's correct. So the A coil is not leaking, and uh, the connections and the seals off. They're all sealed up, and it looks good. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit for a day or so to see if long term if there's any like. Pinholes. That that's right. That's right. Let it sit, and uh, if there's if there's a leak, it'll it'll drop. It won't be any pressure in it at all. Right on. Thank all you right. very much. You you passed the right. Contractor right. Olympics. Woo! It's a powerful test. We thank you so much with HVAC Tony. <laughs> so we've uh, we've gone. We've made the word flesh. So we're going to go back into the lecture part and close the show. We we started the show in the uh, the lecture part where the word is. We talked the word, and the, we made the word flesh in the uh, with the Contractor Olympics. And uh, we're, going to, we're just going to close the show out. And then to join, uh, become a part of the American Heritage Community and to sign up for the uh, free on uh, registration or free on license card class here at the Heritage Center, give me a call, 816-674-3035. If you want to be able to, you know, start buying free on and working on free on on your, uh, on your uh, properties, give us a call. We can help you get licensed to get the, uh, your free on license card with the, uh, approved with the, EPA and whatnot. So give me a call at 816-674-3035. Here we go. We're going to close with the Dreamscape theme song right here. So we're going to go into e-piano mode. So...
slavery in our lives, in our country. We are our own masters and our own slaves, and we work our own properties.